It's not always high noon. My name is Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. Greg, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, what I'm talking about is shadows. And this is the next part in our series here on things that you can be looking for that are gonna help you out in regards to being better on the field. So sometimes, whenever it is that you're playing this event, the sun is gonna be in a certain spot that there aren't really any shadows. This isn't gonna really help you with that. There's gonna be some other stuff we'll talk about in another part in this series. But something that can help is when you are uh, playing and the sun is setting or rising or it's just not exactly overhead and you have some shadows that are cast. Look and see those shadows. So sometimes you're going to see that the player is set up and posted and maybe you don't see where it is that they're at but sometimes the shadow gets cast out a little bit and you can actually see where is it that they're looking or are they even looking at your direction. Maybe you thought they were posted and then you see that the shadow is actually turned in a way that they are actually looking this way when you're trying to move this way. Th these kinds of things you can, you can look out for. Uh, now you wanna watch out for yourself as well. So as you go up into certain positions, it might be that the sun is in a position that, hey, if I'm standing up or I'm playing this side of the bunker, my shadow is showing. So just know that that's another variable that both sides are gonna have the same issue, but it's something that you can keep in mind to make sure that you're gonna be most effective on the field. Now, a way that you can counter this is if it is where the shadows are super long, uh, you have certain sides of the bunker a little bit more in shadow, you might be able to play the shadows. And what I mean by that is sometimes <laughs> you might be able to wrap a little bit harder and use that whole shadow and now no one knows that you're in that bunker. Basically the, the bunker, that shadow is bigger than your shadow and people can't see it. So you can use that to your advantage so that that way uh, you can be posted and no one sees that someone's there. They might look and go, oh, okay, there's no one posted. So there's always a caveat in paintball. It's, it's one of those things that I've, I've had people, the, the best way that I describe it is, well, should I move? Okay, well, that's the same thing as asking, should I move my, my, uh, my knight? in chess maybe it's not always going to be a yes or no it's not always going to be yeah you really need to battle or no you shouldn't have battled then it's it's always picking the right time to make sure that you're doing things so just because you don't see a shadow doesn't mean that someone isn't there but maybe someone is posted and you're able to see that they are posted on that side or that they're standing up or kneeling. You can see that in the shadow as well, which means that maybe I can sit posted and I can kind of look over and see like, oh, okay, they're, they're high. I'm gonna drop to my knee and snap out and shoot. Or, okay, they're, they're just posted low, or I can check and see like, hey, so-and-so, wrap on this guy, he's, he's on the outside. And that's where that teamwork comes in to make sure that you are, again, being the most effective on the field. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, all that fun stuff. And uh, thank you everyone for the support since day one, or if you just started watching today, thank you so much. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.